is going to go over the instructions for project five, the job search portfolio. Well, you're at the end of the semester, you've accomplished the, the biggest task, which was the major formal research report. And now we're going to work on something that is really, really helpful for you in the future, which is the actual job search materials you need, like a resume and a cover letter. So this project allows students to build useful job documents that can be used in future applications. You're gonna learn about contemporary expectations and challenges for job seekers, and you'll craft application materials to meet those challenges. This is a much shorter um, project than the last two projects have been. So you'll do a short job ad keyword analysis worksheet to help you just analyze your job ad. You will do a short job search overview memo. Basically, you'll be doing some research about your own career field. You'll do a cover letter, a resume, and then a brief justification email. So this is just to wrap up the semester and give you some really concrete documents that you can take forward. So the job search is one of the most difficult and often frustrating aspects of career success. Gone are the days when applicants could create a single resume and cover letter for every position. In recent years, searching for job ads and applying for openings have become more dependent than ever on an applicant's ability to use technology to their advantage. So we're going to be looking at how technology affects the job search and how we can use an understanding of technology um, to make our application materials even better than they would be otherwise. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to do a little bit of research and you're going to look into the most important aspects of applying to a position in your projected field or career. Will you look for a government job? Will you apply to the technology or business sector? Um, if you're unsure about your career path, research current best practices for job searches and for application documents. But if you know, for instance, that you want to go into government work, you should be looking at how to apply for government jobs. It's a really different application process. You're going to prepare an informal informational memo that details your findings for an audience of your peers, so classmates or colleagues in your actual field or discipline. Then you're going to put your research into action. You'll locate an ad for an entry-level position or internship that you could apply to right now with your current credentials. And I really stress you need to make sure that you're looking for entry-level positions and internships are another great way to do this assignment. You'll complete a keyword analysis worksheet for the position, and that'll help you isolate the technical and soft skills required. And then you'll craft your job application documents for that specific position. You'll submit all your application materials as a portfolio that includes a cover message, an email to your professor that introduces your materials and makes a persuasive argument for why they meet the requirements for your field. Explain the choices that you've made and why those choices are effective for the situation. Then you'll include your resume, cover letter, and a copy of the original job ad as attachments to the email. So make sure that in the email, you tell the, your um, audience that there are attachments. So your deliverables, as always, are listed here. There is a worksheet for the keyword analysis for your selective job ad. Um, the job search overview memo is just basic background research, both general online searches and database searches to figure out what are the best practices for your field. What type of resume is most effective? How do people find job listings? What should applicants emphasize in their application cover letter? And what applications, websites, or other technology can help someone in your field do well in the application process? You'll just compile this research as an informal informational memo report to your peers, not more than a page or two at absolute most. Make sure you use effective formatting and clear and concise business language. Then finally, it's the last assignment of the semester. You'll put together your job document portfolio. Using the job ad you selected, you'll craft an effective resume and cover letter that serves to highlight your individual skills. Now, you need to include your actual skills and experiences and education. Don't include things you haven't done yet and don't fictionalize your resume. Um, follow the various models in our textbook and our sample documents and the models that you found online for your specific career goals. Then in an email to your professor, introduce the job ad and the application materials. Make a persuasive argument for why you did a good job. Why are these the most appropriate materials and the most effective materials you could have made? You're going to submit your portfolio as a single well-formatted document um, with each individual document starting on a new page within it. And then that's it. 
you're done. You've completed the fifth and final project of the semester, and hopefully you're moving on beyond comp two. So if you have any questions, you need help with any of this, be sure to reach out and ask.